Hey everybody, in this episode, I'm gonna show you the loft tool. The loft tool is so cool. It's like auto magically does stuff. All right, so we're gonna start in our beginner folder and we're gonna to go to create and document. And we're just gonna call this loft and then throw your initials on it. And we're gonna use do a couple of new things. We're going to use an offsite plane and the loft tool. So the only plane we're gonna start with is this top plane. So we can actually turn off the front and the right view and we're just gonna build on the top plane and go up from there. So let's first click on the top plane and add a sketch. Um, and I'm gonna look directly down on it and I'm gonna grab a square with a center point rectangle. So let's grab that and click on it and make it two inches by two inches. All right, so I'm gonna make it two inches and I'm gonna grab my equals constraint and I'm gonna click on the side and the top and now it's two inches. Okay, so let's go back over here to isometric. And the next thing we wanna do is we wanna lift up a plane two inches. So I'm going to right click on the top plane and go to offset plane and I'm gonna offset this two inches a lot of two inches on this so let me back up a little bit there we go you can kind of see that we just changed it now we're going to we're going to hit click on this and call this second level all right so now you can see we started naming our planes and this i'm going to click on this and add a sketch and I'm going to look straight down on it and add a circle here. We're going to start right on the origin. We're going to, can we go out exactly two inches? Well, we can just click and type two. There we go. There's two inches. Okay. Now here's what the loft plane does. Check this out. We're going to go to loft. We're going to click on this inside the square that we just made. We're going to click on the circle and it auto magically I'm going to hit the green check mark, it automatically connects it, right? The cool thing here is we can even go into this sketch and say, hey, I, I want to make it a little bit smaller. Let's make that one inch. If I hit the green check mark, just lines it up. It's amazing. It's so cool. Let's go back to this sketch and change this to, I'm going to double click it and change this to two. And we're going to add, I'm going to right click on the second level. I'm going to offset it two more inches up. And we're going to hit this pencil right here. And I'm going to call this the third level. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to click here. I'm going to start a new sketch. And I'm going to grab a a polygon, an inscribed polygon for the top view. Start here. I'm going to make it pretty big and we're going to make this like three, three sides. Okay. And we are going to dimension the circle to be two inches. I'm going to go back to our isometric view and I am going to Oh, hit the green check mark. I'm going to loft here the circle to the triangle. And there we go. You can see that it made the changes. Now, you could make the different planes and then do one loft and connect them all, or you can do it how I did. Um, now, check this out. If I wanted to change this and say, hey, let's not, let's make this five different lines and hit the green check mark. It doesn't. And if I want to change it to, whoops, clicked on the wrong one. Let's see, let's change this sketch to, I want to make it go back to three and I'm going to change this to one. You can see we've changed it up. So I'm going to leave it totally up to you. You're going to need two different lofts, you're gonna need at least three different levels. Um, you're gonna need a polygon, a square, a circle, and a polygon of some kind. Please make it your own. Thanks for watching and let me know what you make 